Hey folks, thank you for stopping by the channel. Good morning. It is a morning here. I'm at the Blue Heron Bridge dive site and we've got a little bit of a cloudy day but it is bright enough for a nice dive. If you look down you can see the visibility is pretty good. Tide is high or just about high right now and so, so this morning we're gonna do a, a dive. People always say, Ron, do you always scuba dive? My answer to that this morning is gonna be no. Sometimes I free dive. As corny as it may be, that's what this morning is all about. Okay, folks, so full disclosure, I am an Omer dealer. I do carry the Omer line. It's considered one of the better free diving and spearfishing lines in the world. And had, it's been around for a long time, so it's got a great reputation. They maintain the quality and the value. Now, I'm using this Omer bag. It is a double fin bag, so it's an extra large got the heavy duty zippers it does have a mesh here which is great because it allows the stuff to there to breathe so even if it's gone in a little bit wet it's also going to dry now just fold it back over a couple things that's in the bag that I'm going to prepare and use I have got my chest monitor here it's it monitors my heart rate and it allows me to combine that together with my watch dive computer and when I use that, I can make sure or look at what my heart rate is like and see if I can't get it down a little lower to be making maximum use of my oxygen in my lungs. I do have a simple pair of gloves and I just use the OMA because I like the design and the skeletal shape. I do have a pair of thin socks. It's a thin neoprene sock by Aqualung and that allows your skin not to chaff as much on the inside foot pocket. I do have a very low volume mask and it is made by Sporosa, which is a division of Omer. And it's very low volume, so it means you don't have to do a lot of uh, air into there to equalize. I put a spot or two of toothpaste, I rub it around firmly and that helps to keep my mask fog free for me on my dive. Make sure you wash it off before you use it, of course. I do carry a knife at all times. It's quite sharp with a serrated edge and it is a click, it's a lock to lock it in. And that way, if you're ever entangled, you can cut yourself free. I'll narrate a story about that as I'm diving uh, at the end so that I could tell you a little bit about how not to get or stay underwater on free diving. Now, I have my fins. My fins are the Omer Stingray 100% carbon fin. It's very flexible. You can actually hear the sound of it as it flexes. It gives me a lot of power as I move through the water. So this is a quick story of an entanglement and the value of a sharp knife. I was at Pirates Bay in Tobago on my boat and some fishermen were pulling a sane net from the shoreline. They shouted out from the distance that their net had fastened on a rock underwater. I knew the area was approximately 20 feet deep. I had been diving so I had fins, mask and knife on. It was just to put on the mask and go down. I was oblivious to the risk down below. I went down to free the net, but they continued to pull, not being able to see me underwater. And as I freed the net, it got pulled into my fin buckle. It caught me and had me at 20 feet under the water on just a breath. I was lucky. I had easy access to my sharp knife. I pulled it off and I used it to cut away enough of the fishing seine net to get free. And of course, I swam quickly to the surface for a breath. Remember, always carry an easily accessible sharp knife and stay away from nets and lines underwater.
Hey folks, thank you for joining me on the video. I do hope you enjoyed it and hope to see you soon. Please consider a thumbs up and subscribing to the channel if you enjoyed and want to see some more content. Bye now.